who would I like to thank? Not Hilary Swank's husband that she forgot. Okay. Not Chad Lowe. Kate Blanchett for having aerodynamic features, which I believe is important for the silver screen. <laughs> silver screen. <laughs> I've literally been drinking like someone's aunt at a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Picks 2016. Uh, so I am joined by uh, a new panel this year. I well, of course, I have you know the the defending champion, uh, GOP poster child and, and entertainment <laughs> journalist Louis Vuitton. Um, Show us the snap. There it is. <laughs> that was good. It was like it was more a head movement. Secretly. It was kind of like a bewitched. How when she moves her nose, it's actually a lip thing. It is. Just... I'm here with uh, Debbie, you know, from Filter Free TV, and also from her just slaying it on YouTube and being beautiful and teaching you how to be beautiful. And then now I've got Jen here, who is you know a trans activist, filmmaker. What else? What do? You, what don't you do? I Not guess. Much. Dance. Not Okay, okay, that's the one thing you don't do. And you'll do be well. required to do that today, so get ready. <laughs> Literally. You guys know the drill at this point, so let's just get right into it. First category is uh, adapted screenplay. We've got The Big Short, Brooklyn, Carol, The Martian, and Room. What are we thinking? I guess people like The Big Short. I, it was fine. I was didn't it? care. But it was clever. The way that they it chose the material. Clever. I thought it tried a little too hard, but Did ultimately it, it yeah. was successful. Well, I, think oh, I mean, the whole like having the, you know, the, the gorgeous model in the hot tub with, you know, the, the thing in order to explain some kind of weird thing. Margot Robbie, because it got greenlit because of Wolf of Wall Street. I think it, it was influenced uh, right, by right. it, yeah. you know, a little bit. I just felt like it was a movie that was constantly telling you what to think, and I hate yes. that. And so, everybody was so ugly. I still yeah. think <laughs> Which they did on purpose. That was like a whole thing, True. like taking like beautiful people and trying to make them ugly, trying to make them That's Oscar world. bait, right? But I think also what I liked most about Big Short is that it, like, it's pitched as a comedy, but it's actually like a really fucking dark drama. <laughs> it really is! And they caught that in the very end. Like, yeah. like, the characters felt the same way that you should feel, which is like, we've been laughing and like, kind of winning in this whole thing, it's really awful. And Brad Pitt, of course, the producer comes in and yeah. tells you how you're supposed to feel. <laughs> Official picks then, what did you pick? Did you go big for it? I did, yes. I mean, like, my heart is with Carol because I am a human being with a beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe it's going to be the big short. I, I that's what I was going to do. Yeah, I, I agree. Have to go with it too. It's unanimous. Okay, then let's move on to original screenplay. Maybe we'll have some. That's my favorite category. Okay, yeah. Every year, that's the one. Like ever since I was a kid, like I that's the one. That's I the one I want to win. Right. Yes. Okay. So we've got you are a much smarter kid than this. <laughs> <laughs> Nominees are Bridge of Spies, Ex Machina, Inside Out, Spotlight, and Straight Out of Compton. They basically just nominated all the white people who shared. Like the right. three white people who work on that film. That is the single best image from the entire Oscars this year is looking at the the, the writers <laughs> from Straight Out of Compton. Old Jewish guy and the young Jewish girl. They're just like the best. The funny thing is I feel like they could win just because it's straight out of Compton. No. Just no, to, no, not no, even no, I no, no. There would be freaking riots. Yeah. I see what you're saying though. Like you know diversity should represent itself they, somehow. Yeah, even if it's those got, Jewish even people even who wrote that movie. I feel like because they got so much shit that they will try to find some way to some weird way to redeem themselves, even if it is not even Anybody of color. No. Really. I think that like Spotlight has gotten so much hype that it has to win something. It's and this win. is the guarantee. It's gonna win. So I think it is going you to think win. It's a guarantee. Yes. I think so. And I also think um, it's an important film because it shows that in the year of 2003 or so, Rachel McAdams had to wear like diaphanous work slacks. Wardrobe is the real star of that movie. <laughs> okay. It is I, so, I've never seen so much khaki. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like deep pleats. <laughs> My heart is with Ex Machina because it was, was so movie. good. Yeah. To me, like especially from a script standpoint, it was simultaneously intelligent but also thrilling. Mm -hmm. And as far as like, it's so hard to find scripts that are that smart and yet that taut. I wanted to win so fucking hard, knock me on my ass as far as writing is concerned. Like, so you're picking that? I am picking that. You're a fool. It took me by the No, no, hold on. I might be just as big because I have the exact same feelings about Inside Out. Inside Out was good. I watched Inside Out on a whim with my mom over Christmas, and by the end was like a pool of tears. Tears on the floor and had this like remarkable insight on like how to talk about children's brains and the way that memories and personality forms. I'm in awe of what they did with that movie. I know it won't win. I'm gonna vote for it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I love my mentally ill new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Desi, what are we doing? Sorry, the spotlight. You know spotlight? I just okay. know it's good. You like winning? No, no, I like winning. <laughs> <laughs> We're invited to win with me. <laughs> Visual effects. We've got Ex Machina, nope. Mad Max. Uh, Martian, Revenant, Star Wars, The Force Awakens. It's so hard to pick because it's about film excellence. It's Here's the weird thing about the technical awards, because I know some people like in this industry. The films that actually have the best 
like the most technically competent things are the ones you don't notice. It's true, because Ex Machina had some yeah. spectacular effects, but you never notice it because they're so, so well good. done. The obvious effects are for Fury Road. Really? Okay. I'm gonna say that that's gonna win, though it does feel like Star Wars should win something. I don't you know, know. Like every voter probably grew up with Star Wars. I'm, which makes me hate them. <laughs> I grew up with Star Wars. Why I like it. Am I gonna get killed? No, it's like no, a C plus no, no, movie. I feel like it wasn't good. I, I was just, disappointed. I just wanted to go to the <laughs> Carrie I'm Fisher's a character's Wars, cottage. So oh my god. Hang out with her and like <laughs> eat the porridge. <laughs> Princess Leia became like an art teacher in like Sedona. <laughs> I'm conflicted because, yeah, I think Ex Machina had the best effects, but I feel like it's either yeah. going to be Martian or Force Awakens. So I'll probably go with Force Awakens just because, again, yeah, they're, like, it has to win something. They have to give it something. Yeah. And it's not, it's not nominated for score, so mm. obviously it has to win this. Mm. Fury Road, Road uh, because I'm hoping that Charlize Theron's haircut counts as a visual effect. <laughs> I'm gonna Roll go with Ex Machina because that way nerds can lust after a robot. That's, that's, and I think that's, that's true. Really nice. We're heading that direction of evolution wise. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, okay. We're, no, we're there. We're already there. You <laughs> just. I'm, I'm feeling like you're thinking Ex Machina, okay. The original song we've got, Earned It from Fifty Shades of Grey, Manta Ray from Racing Extinction, Simple Song number three from Youth, Till It Happens to You from The Hunting Ground, and Writings on the Wall from Spectre. Earned It. Have any of them been written by Randy Newman? That's all I need. No, <laughs> shockingly not. And then I have to go with okay. Earned It. Earned It is an obvious it? winner. Obvious winner. He's gonna perform, he's gonna win. Really? Yes, he's I don't know. Win. I think Till It Happens to You is gonna, like, it has, because they love giving shit with social relevance. That's why Glory is the only was, like, black person. Yeah. He should win. First of all, it's song. Song. Everywhere. It's everywhere. I love the song. I think I it's mean. a battle of exactly those two things. Like yeah. the name recognition of Lady Gaga and then the name recognition of diversity. I think this category is depressing. Like none of these songs <laughs> I know. matter except for Earned It. Like, Earned It. Personally, I would pick that, but because of name recognition, I'm gonna go Till It Happens to You because Lady I'm gonna Gaga, go till I guess, is just to gonna be an Oscar winner someday. And also Diane hasn't won yet, Diane Warren. So oh, okay. it, it seems like it's about time for that too, and she co-wrote Till It Happens to You. Oh, okay, but I'm changing my vote. Makeup and hairstyling, Mad Max Fury Rolled. Okay, uh, the hundred-year-old man who climbed out the window and disappeared. Which I, I haven't listed. Seen it. I, didn't even I know haven't that listed as two. I'm sorry. And then the Revenant. Um, Mad Max. Does anyone know anything way. about that movie? No. I My okay, parents did see it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I want to say is that it's an about... endorsement or a critique. No. Right. They could have <laughs> thought they were watching PBS Mystery, <laughs> <laughs> but then ended up seeing this movie. Okay. God, makeup and hairstyling. I guess it... I'm surprised that Black Mass isn't on here. I'm right? surprised the Revenant is on. Here. I know. Exactly. That's how I felt. Mad Max is the only one that I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. Alright, that one's back. gonna win. The costume design, we've got Carol, Cinderella, Danish Girl, Mad Max, and The Revenant. This one is tough. One First of all, Cinderella was a cum dump. It was not a good movie. <laughs> yeah, that one just needs to be crossed. The Danish Girl was bad. Here was Eddie Redmayne's performance. Shoving that down my throat. Are you ready? I'm gonna get nominated for an Oscar right now. Here's Eddie, Red <laughs> Eddie Redmayne's performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold, on, hold on, and now I'm crying, and now I'm leaving the room. That's what he did. <laughs> Clearly, that's you would do that better than I could. So you did the right. right. <laughs> you know, well, again, it's trans face, not actual trans people. You know who should win Best Supporting Actor is Eddie Redmayne's penis. I was shocked. Right. I was like, like the wow. Top his penis. Yeah, that's true. But I was like, okay, judging from like the distance, I was just like. He's already won. Eddie Redmayne's pubis was stunning. Is that makeup and hairstyling? <laughs> and that cut right. Is that like boogie nights? See, mm. you know, that, Mad Max is the most interesting, clearly. And they had it is. The costumes were elaborate. But, I mean, anything visual related to Carol, I'm in love with. Are you? Okay. Just, like, you and I are married now. You're yeah. right. It was probably, so beautiful. because usually a lot of the costume design, the people that win, is always like tying pieces. Like anything, yeah. like, kind of, exactly. They just created a, a whole lot world. of detail. I don't know. Can I help you make a decision? Sure. Yeah, the, the correct answer is Carol. <laughs> Sandy Powell, the costume has won three before. She's been nominated like, I'm gonna go with 700 times. The costumes in Carol are straight up, like, it's perfect. Yeah, no, it's like drugs. Like, it, you yeah. huff in the costume. <laughs> so next, we've got cinematography, Carol, Hateful Eight, Mag, Max, no, oh God, I'm already drunk, uh, Revenant, and Sicaro. I was surprised. It's Sicario, but Sicario, yeah. Yeah. I am surprised that Sicario's on there. TVH. Right, right. I mean, it was well. I mean, I liked it. I liked it. I feel like it's gonna be between the uh, no, sorry, no, the Revenant. But they've already like won. For it's Revenant and Mad Max, I think. I, I think it's gonna be Mad Max, honestly, because they already gave it to um, what's his name from Revenant. Uh, yeah, yeah. For Gravity, so I'm like, they gotta give it to someone else. Mad Max was so impressively brown. 
I mean, like, you thought it was <laughs> going to stop being brown, and then it kept being that brown. So no, funny. no, that when is I not true. That, like, uh, Mad Max? Yeah. yeah. There were all these set pieces where they had these like, saturated and beautiful colors at different times of day. Like, I wanted to watch it again. Like, blue. Just there's just, like, a lot of blues. Yeah, and, and like, then the there's, nice like, a red section. Like, they had but see, it was the safe zone. Well, I just like I just like that there's not many action movies that know to just back and track, which is just, like, show just show what's going on. Cinematographers knew how to best just frame what was going on in the frame. Like, it just made you, it made it that much more impressive because you were just watching these wide shots. I just have to go with The Revenant because it was just Revenant. visually stunning. Like, there were so many of those scenes, like, I'm thinking about, like, the shooting star or the blizzard, like, the wide shots, the, the landscape. Close shots. Even the close those shots. Those ones, like, just the know, choices. The like, way that just... they followed battle scenes where you would follow someone and then as they got killed, it would, it would But again, the they person. did that during Children of Men, they did that during, but it's like, all just done so well. It's just well. a different story. I think it's because of the type of story it was. It was so much more impactful. To me, it feels like The Revenant should only win visual-oriented stuff. Like, okay. I don't think it's the best movie of the year, but it no. is this stuff. But at the same time, Mad Max was so... The cinematography made it um, all the more intense. Yes! Like, I call it back. steampunk Mario Kart. It was like weird. <laughs> I, it was like this weird, like, well, right. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh you mean God. twisted like metal. Like twisted metal. metal. That was a video yes. game, like, already. You're showing your age. You own the original PlayStation, and in 1998, you really <laughs> No, that. my neighbor owned the original PlayStation <laughs> oh, okay. because we were too poor. Mad Max. Mad Max, okay. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say The Revenant, even though I feel like it could be a surprise. Okay. I Directing. Big Short, Mad Max, Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. I feel like there's two schools of thought right now with this because, like, do they give it? I mean, to the Revenant, which is the kind of outstanding one, but then ends up going the same director two years in a row. Yeah, that's that's or, rare. Or do they give it to Mad Max, but they end up splitting Best Picture and Best Director, which is kind of odd. They've been doing that the past several years. And that's why I'm going with Mad Max for director. You're going to go yeah. for Mad Max. I enjoy the schism. I like Best Director going to one and then Best Picture going to another. Seeing them all lined up here, I have to be the worst person who ever lived and say The Revenant. Just that's because the thing. Statistics-wise, I'm going for they're going to give it to him two years in a row because that's satisfying to somebody yeah. somewhere. But also Not think about me. George Miller. Like yeah. I mean, this is like a 30-year project in the making. It's his vision from beginning to end. And yeah. I also love that there was like, for the longest time, there was no script. It yeah. was just yeah. storyboards. I'm just going to say that my favorite uh, gritty George Miller dystopia is still Babe. They shouldn't have that many thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> and they shouldn't care that much about dogs. I'm torn. I know. I this is tough for me. Because I feel like, same thing. I feel like this could also be a category of surprises. I want to pit Mad Max, but I'm like, no. I know. I no, feel like for a director, not, even though it's, it's not, you know, heady enough. It's not, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have picked it for the Golden Globe. That's but for true. the Oscars, I wouldn't. You know? yes, yeah. I don't think there's a second there, for directing. There isn't, there isn't but like there's, the the, the DGA, DGA was Revenant, right? Yeah. Was it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Revenant. Uh, <laughs> animated feature film, Anomalisa, Boy and the World, Inside Out, Shaun the Sheep movie when Marnie was there. This should just be the Disney Pixar category. I yeah. know. There's no point in like there being any other nominees. That said, did you know Anomalisa is about cartoons eating each other out? Actress in a supporting Ooh. role, Jennifer Jason Lee, Hateful H, Rooney Mara Carroll, Rachel McAdams. Adam Spotlight, Alicia Vikander, Danish Girl, Kate Winslet, Steve Jobs. I kept forgetting, even though I hated the movie generally, Jennifer Jason Lee, I kept forgetting it was her. She, okay. And she's, she's also the best part of the movie. She is the best part yeah. of the movie. I kept forgetting it was her. I'm like, holy shit, that's Jennifer What's weird movie. is, I feel like they should have nominated Alicia Vikander not for Danish Girl, but for fucking Ex Machina. Right. She's she great was in that movie. phenomenal in that movie. And then in Danish Girl, like, she was also good. I actually I feel loved like her in the Danish Girl. I feel girl. like she's gonna win for that. She was fun to watch. I, I don't necessarily think, like, technically it was a good performance for an acting standpoint, but she just knew how to command your attention and knew yeah, how to Yeah, she was really like, compelling for it, and she was really kind of the lead. I mean, she's the kind of woman I hope leaves me someday. <laughs> oh, 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 shit! The problem with her performance was not that she was bad, it's that it felt too contemporary. Her, her oh, like, true, character true, was true, way true. too Jennifer Lawrence. Way too like, I get it, and I'm sorry, and I'm cool. Denmark. Actually, no, actually, <laughs> this is what's actually more interesting. The actual real life I'm sure she was cool! No, no, were more progressive than the movie. It, we're almost certain that she was actually queer and saw Lily as a woman from the beginning. Ooh. They actually lived as a lesbian couple in Europe for many, many years after she transitioned. Well, I have a new dream the, now. I believe that she was liberal and I believe that she was rad as hell. But it's still like her like kind of shrugginess, her kind of like, it was it was so cool yeah, in a way that yeah. feel like felt like now, whereas the most impressive thing about Carol was it felt like you were in the 50s. My thing is, no, I think she's just secretly the most- thing, though, Rita yeah. Mara. Like, she just she's just great, but she's not gonna win. I think this is secretly really the most wide open category. And yes, by that I mean, I you you wanna say Alicia Vikander's gonna win because I think she's gotten the most hype. 
But I think literally the straight dudes who vote on this are gonna pick Kate Winslet because she seems like someone who deserves a second Oscar and they liked her in that movie where she was the one woman telling Steve Jobs, oh, aren't you brilliant? You're an asshole, but you're brilliant. But I still think it's gonna be Alicia Gander. Yeah, and I think it'll be in part because of Ex Machina too. I think that's an That's extra true, yeah, it's like a combo like, like two... Jessica Lange when she was in Tootsie but was also in Francis that year. I'll take you to the 80s. <laughs> Actor in a supporting role, Christian Bale, Big Short, Tom Hardy. The category Hardy. I care the least about. Ah, uh, Tom Hardy, Revenant, Mark Ruffalo Spotlight, Mark Rylance, Rylance, Bridges Spice, it's Sylvester definitely Stallone. Rylance, but it's fine. Rylance, fine. Sylvester Stallone, Creed. Why is Sylvester Stallone here? <laughs> is my biggest and question. And because Creed win. is a very no, important no. movie by a great director and has a great actor and by he's by the one who means Sylvester Stallone is the one who deserves to win no, the award he's for it. Michael B. Jordan <laughs> is the one who should have been nominated. He That's totally what totally is. Me. It's, Michael B. Jordan is brutally hot. Oh, what are we doing not talking about him being hot all the time? It's a great director, it's a great movie, and it's just like, why Sylvester Stallone blames Sylvester Stallone for the millionth time? Literally, no, that's why he got nominated and Michael no. did it. And the yeah, fact right. that he's a contender for this because it's such a weak category is like even sadder. I feel like they nominated him just to be like, by the way, Michael, you're black. In case you didn't know, we're going to nominate Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Let me blow your mind. Mm -hmm. I think the best one in this category is Tom Hardy in The Revenant. I thought he was the best in that movie, but he's not going to win. I think, I think the best actor is Christian Bale. And it's, it's between it's him and Sylvester to awful. win. I think I'm gonna go Sylvester's gonna win. You're gonna go Sylvester? He might win. There's he like a win. weird nostalgia for him, even You're though right. he looks like yeah. a melted like Adobe figurine. I'm gonna go with Christian Bale just because it's an I don't think he's gonna win, and I think it's an unlikable character and it's an unlikable actor, but he actually played the part well. Right. Tom Hardy. Yeah, like, I'm gonna go Tom Hardy. But what did he do in the big short besides wear cargo shorts and have a bad eye? If I'm thinking about who's gonna win, I think Sylvester Stallone could win. You're gonna just do based off in this nostalgia or I want to say, I, I liked Tom Hardy. I thought the same thing. I thought he was believable. Mm -hmm. He was incredible. I'm a, I'm a fan. Scary, yeah. I'm a fan. Was I really love scary. Performance, it was a one-note performance. It was the now. right note. Yeah, and it was horrifying. It was completely yeah. believable. And I once again, when you can make me forget you are this gorgeous Tom Hardy. That's true. You accomplished something, and yeah. he made me forget constantly. And that's what I always do when I judge acting. Like you have to make me forget who you, who you are. are. <laughs> I'm looking at Sp Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight, and I will say about him in that movie. I feel like all he fucking does in other movies, he's talented, I don't hate him, but he's like adorable bear. What? Right. Uh, and in this movie, uh, he was not see, adorable I love it. bear. I, like, I hear the name right, you just like, imitate Mark Ruffalo no matter how badly and they get turned on. But, but like, <laughs> but like, uh, like Mark. <laughs> winning, winning, winning. Yeah, right. Sylvester Stallone. All right, Charlie right. Sheen. All right, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Actress in a leading role, Kate Blanchett for Carol. Brie Larson for Room, Jennifer Lawrence for Joy, Charlotte Rampling for 45 Years, and Saoirse Ronan for Brooklyn. My favorite on the list is actually Charlotte Rampling. I don't know if you saw 45 Years. No. I did not. No. It's, it's a movie about a woman going through hell and not kind of not realizing it because she's just like internalizing like her husband's distance and aloofness. I call her the Lauren Bacall of Stockard Channings. Her face belongs on like Mount Rushmore. It's so like insane and chiseled and like emotional. It's gonna be Brie Larson, I'm almost certain. You sure? Because I like, I'm rooting for Brie Larson. I really am. Because she's, I feel like she's Jennifer Lawrence without the psychosis. She's actually just as cool, just as grounded, just as down to earth, and nobody's cared because nobody's like given her the time of day yet. They're like, holy shit, where did she come from? I'm like, she's been here this whole time. I want Brie Larson. Some of us have seen the United States of Tara and are offended that you would say that. Is it just me or is Jennifer Lawrence starting to be the same in every single movie? Yes, she it's is. the same. She's dynamic, like she draws your attention, she even keeps it, but I feel like it's the same. She yeah, was this character right. in American Hustle and she was in Silver Linings. It's the same person, so, like, and I feel like that was- the same person every time. Well, I think also, in particular, that movie is written around her. It's still, it's still, but it's still and based then. off of a true story. Yeah. So there has to be some element of the real right person. Now. No, I want her to play like a serial killer or something. Yeah, so. she should. But, yeah. Everyone I know who has seen Room, like walks out like in this like transcendent haze and they just talk about how like beautiful it was and how great her performance There's a was. moment where you walk, like, I'm like stony and I've had my emotions removed years ago. <laughs> like, and then <laughs> they were like, you was actually operation. almost seriously cry. I mean, it's yeah. like an insane moment. I want to vote for Kate Blanchett, like the like spiky lesbian who's like, you know what I want? Uh, ladies and not this Loser I'm married to. <laughs> but it's gonna be Brie Larson. Yeah, I think it's so, gonna yeah. be Brie Larson, yeah. Actor in a leading role. Brian Cranston, Trumbo, Matt Damon, Martian, Leo DiCaprio, Revenant, Michael Fassbender, Steve Jobs, and Eddie Redmayne, Danish Girl. Can I see your impersonation again before I make my Of vote? Eddie Redmayne? Okay, hold on. I look like the Wendy's logo. Okay. And I'm going like this. Uh, um, yeah, he earns it. He deserves yeah, right. it. Yeah, right. You do? Really? No, 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 no. I have mixed feelings because I actually, I know Eddie and I worked on the Danish Girl. 
Did you? Get yeah. the fuck out. You were a consultant? <laughs> yeah, yes. basically. Mm -hmm. And he's a doll. I really do love no, him. No, he's the nicest guy. He and just I actually lot dislike of... him. I want someone unlikable to win. He <laughs> just... No, Ellie, he just won. You just made the same argument about director earlier. This that is true? Like, Abby likes giving the award to somebody. You're like an Oscar around. detective. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's Leo's year. I was going to no, say, Leo's going to get it. There's Leo no, is going to get it. There's, there's nothing too tough to against him. Anyway. That's true. There's nobody out there that really did something intense and crazy that to really... Well, no, I feel like the whole it. reason he did that movie is like, I want it to make it impossible for anyone else to win. I want to suffer for my art as much I, as possible. He crawled inside he fucking a bear. What was it? A horse, yeah. Yeah, the horse people, bear. I mean, I've cared like, about Leo for such a long time. <laughs> It's just only inevitable. Can I suggest something about this man? <laughs> he is definitely going to win. Nobody has said a word about the other four nominees for sure. I don't think anybody has played more two-dimensional prestige characters than Leonardo DiCaprio, who are like really angry and powerful, but then also secretly emotional. <laughs> He's not impressive generally, but in this movie, I mean, I guess he goes through a lot and crawls through animals. Now we're on to we're on to the big one, the big category, best picture, best picture. big short. Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max, Martian, Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. How is this tough? It's The Revenant. Everyone you think knows. it's The Revenant? It's the, okay, look, all bullshit aside, that is a fucking beautiful movie. It's it is a, a beautiful movie with like such intense... The fact that that this guy... I'm sorry, I've been obsessing over this movie. Okay, okay. I cannot help but think about this in comparison to Birdman. Like, these two movies came out back to back, like mm -hmm. in two subsequent years. I think they're meant to be seen together as like a diptych. I think the thing, the standard about thing about Spotlight Spotlight is the truth of it, mm -hmm. and so I, I think that kind of occludes the film part of it. Like, whereas Revenant is like a great artistic product. Spotlight's That's true. a true really compelling story. It's I think the opposite is true. I think about The Revenant, it's great movie making that wants you to mistake it for a great movie. To me, that movie is like a very well-produced, gorgeous-looking, choose-your-own-adventure novel. <laughs> so, um, I mean, like... From left or right at the creek. <laughs> my, my heart is in Spotlight in terms of it is the top. It's so taut. There's not a word wasted. It's, it's like an hour and a half true. out, and it's good. Yeah. But I'm thinking about boring white people. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? And I think they want the revenant to win. I think they do. So I'm gonna go with that, and I feel shitty about it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the revenant down, but I don't feel good about it. Yeah. Spotlight was the movie that stood with me the most until I saw The Revenant, and then I have not been able to stop thinking about The Revenant since. I really. What are you think... thinking about? His growling, his gurgling, or what? <laughs> you're like you're really stripping down and seeing like what is human? Like is this person who is just living for revenge? At what point like, is it the line between human and animal? I wish they would make a movie like that, but from the point of view and in the situation, the eyes of a woman. Yeah, right. I mean, right, that's agreed. What I yeah, feel. it's like a I'm super sorry. dude movie. Especially in those times, when I mean, Jesus. No, and in, that, in that movie, I mean, like, women are treated, I mean, like, you get a I glimpse of them. I want to see a woman survive against the true, like, the odds that they were put in back then. So I would like to see something grueling like that. Take notes, people who are watching. <laughs> yes. yeah. And let me add to that, by the way, about The Revenant. I think the, the least, or, like, the worst part about it is that the ending is just, like, a traditional revenge situation. Like, oh, you're really going to beat up that dude? One little interesting thing about The Revenant, too, I just have to actually think about Okay, all right, all right, all right. I love the fact that there were um, black soldiers right in the beginning. True, um, true. Like, with the crew and it wasn't even commented on. They were sure. mixed with everyone else. And did you see the gay couple dancing in uh, the like brothel saloon? No. In yeah. The Revenant? Yes. I didn't notice what? that. What? It is so fast, but it is absolutely clear. And, what like, the Glee episode did they the person the I, <laughs> The person I've seen it, we both looked at each other like, did you see that? Like, and we confirmed, like, yes, we both saw it. But Leonardo DiCaprio looks like Garfield now. <laughs> Have you thought of that? <laughs> so you're officially Revenant then? I'm sad to say the Revenant, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. So you are, are you Revenant I think Spotlight? this might be the first time I'm going to go against the obvious. I'm going to pick Spotlight. You're going to pick Spotlight? It could be a surprise, because they that love to be a surprise with Best Picture. I could be a gamble. always the surprise. If Anna Rintu wins for Best Director, and then I could see Spotlight getting Best Picture. I could see them split it that way. So I'm sticking with my vote. Okay, I'll stick with Revenant too. Alright, so we have our but official picks here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, you can share your picks in the comments. You can, we'll keep score the night of, and uh, we'll see who wins the trophy. Uh, you know, next year. In the That's meantime, it won't be me. In the meantime, follow all these amazing people. They do amazing stuff. That's one of the reasons why they're on this couch. And uh, yes, yeah, so if you can click on them, um, I'll link to you to something of theirs that they do, so that you can check them out. Uh, their their stuff will also be in the description. Um, thanks, guys, for doing this. Thank you. And, yeah, uh, thank you. Pleasure. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye. Bye. -bye.